The most convenient way to change your violin sound is to invest in a different fine tuner. Today we check out the Titanium Stratpad fine tuner, which could change your violin to the good. Hello, hello, back again. Today we check out how we can change the sound of your violin. Now let's see what we can do today, okay? Before we do that, the most important thing of all is that you are subscribed. I think the major part of you are not subscribed to my channel it doesn't cost you anything it's just free so just subscribe come on this is now the packaging of this Stratpad dual use titanium fine tuner for ball and and loop and strings here on the back side all written it comes with two screws and one Alan Key. Alan has been the man who invented this tool, which is actually a good thing here. It's uh, usually uh, fine tuners aren't put it with a key, so the ones who are now not too much in work at home, they would be, oh my god, I have to have here some tools, but you get them already. And it looks like this. It's a fine tuner and you have a small screw and a big one. I leave this big one on, it's easier to turn here with the bigger one, so I just leave now this one on. The interesting part of this fine tuner is that there is a stick which is straight up and it allows you to put the ball end just on top of it. So if you have now a traditional E string with ball end, you just put the ball on top of it and that's it. And the good part as well is that here now the string length of the E string is very short. The whole thing on my channel where I tell you that the string length here should be one sixth on the entire string length and everything with these traditional fine tuners, which are with a long arm, it's all messed up. And with these tiny ones already, only because of its shape and its different mechanism, you have already a different sound acoustic. And then actually this titanium stands for super tight and super strong. So I somehow thought we put on this one so it becomes more focused and more crunchy and projecting and everything. So let's turn down the E string. You don't really have to do a lot. It goes out very quick here. So it works perfect. And then here we open this one. If this doesn't open, then you need like something a little bit like this, where you can take this one and then you turn it slightly. You take it out and that's the fine tuner, the traditional fine tuner, okay? This is now a very tiny part and there is also the screw and everything. So it is actually three parts, the screw, and then you have this kind of small part, which comes from the upper part. Now this is a tricky thing here. You have to put that now underneath yeah i will succeed here yes come on that's good and good so you just see the pin coming up and then we put in this screw you just put it in and then you take this allen key and then you screw it all it looks very difficult but it's actually very easy we can twist it a little bit don't twist it too much you don't want to break the tailpiece this one comes in here should be very smooth as well. That's it. You take now the ball end, loosen up a little bit longer because now the string is certainly longer than before. And you put it on, that's it, you know, is already on. And it won't slip away because of the inclination and everything. That's all perfect. Looks very nice, actually. What do you think? So now we have finished putting it up like this. And again, Lena is playing it. So then you can hear comparison. I'm actually expecting here super projecting and super tight, tight, annual sound.
this was just very different than what I expected. In real life, I expected that this becomes tight, projecting and like this and actually it became on the deeper and on the middle strings a little bit richer and even a little bit more at least to my impression more wooden sound while on the e string it became a little bit tighter and i could on the e string accept that the vitna is a little bit richer but still in real it definitely had the impression that it is even louder on the e string so on the e string it was a little bit in that direction I expected but on the all other three strings it was definitely a richer sound something completely different so I'm wondering if it's because the length of the string is longer or it's the titanium this one already is definitely increasing I think the sound but of course it's very personal in my previous videos I always see that some like it like this some like that some don't want to change anything and others are keen to know how this is changing let me know what you believe I think it's always interesting that also others can see a little bit a wide range of comments of this sound check and sound effect it creates on uh, this specific one Island. thanks for watching and leaving your comment thanks for being already subscribed and if you're not push the buttons and if you want to give me something back for the equipment or just a coffee for the workshop the super thanks is active on all videos and you can do that all the time you want giving back something is always a great way subscribe super thanks whatever comment thanks ciao ciao tell your friends bye bye